Tremendous goal from Akinyemi, it really is. He's popped up mainly down the right-hand side in the channel. He's looked at a lot alert since the start of the game, but this is exactly where I want him. Look at the strength, nice little turn. And then it's fired low beyond Kinnear. He's got no chance, but look at the strength from Akinyemi. There is a deflection. There's a man in front of Kinnear as well, which unsights him. But that goal is all about Depot Akinyemi. Uh, he's been a superstar for Lee Bullen and for this club. It's back in the air for air. Goal scorer. It's another goal. He's testing the keeper as well. Fabulous hit from Akinyemi. He's in the mid tonight, isn't he? I mean, he's <laughs> when he hits that, I think. Why is he hitting it from there? It takes Kinnear by surprise. He's scrambling to keep it out. Chiavi takes. There's a towering header. And he got a second bite at it. Did call Donaldson. He's holding his head in his hands. He knows that's a huge chance for an equaliser. It's a massive chance. It does really well first time. He doesn't expect it to come back, but he is following up. And he just can't get over it to head it down the way. Maybe comes at him a little bit too fast, but positive for Falkirk. The air fans singing, there's only one team in Ayrshire. That's not strictly true, but as far as the Scottish Cup's concerned, they are the sole survivors, and should they would have been part of them, would have been disappointed that Kilmarnock were beaten by Inverness the other night, because it meant they couldn't clash in a semi at Hamden. It's Morrison crosses, Kennedy corner and taking it very quickly there's Morrison Morrison hits it, deflected and it just ripples his side net I thought it was in as the stand behind the goal I thought that at the back of the net not the side net Comes Henderson's got his eyes on it. Oh yes, penalty Volker. An instant decision by Nick Walsh. And Volker could have been handed a route back into the Scottish Cup here. I have to say, I, I, I thought initially there was a hand in there. Yeah, great spot. Masonda just throws the left arm back. It's. I mean, I don't know why he's putting his, heart, his arm up there. Referee's got a great view of it. Morrison's going to take. They've been awarded two penalties this season. This is just their third. What pressure on Callum Morrison, who can draw League One Falkirk level here. It's an excellent penalty under huge pressure. And you have to say, they deserve to be back in the game. They've started the second half brilliantly. Pace. Well placed as well. It's a brilliant penalty for Callum Morrison. Dwyer. Zakinyemi. So strong. So powerful. And he rifles for goal again. Forcing the save from Kinnear. Good from here, United. Tristan well, lovely ball! And Kinnear with the heroics, and Akinyemi on the follow-up. 
It's the settle for the corner. Tremendous, tremendous double save. It's good play from here. We asked about the reaction. They've shown one. Great first save. Back up. Just gets it with the left hand there as well, Kinnear. What can Kinnear make of this? Just approaching the final ten minutes. McGinty got his head to it. Still alive. The Air United fans howl for the penalty and they're getting one. Well, again, Nick Walsh is in no doubt, and Donaldson's the offender. It's tough to see what happens there. Bodies in there. Can take control. I don't see. I don't see a lot in that. If I'm being honest, he doesn't really complain. Donaldson. Chris McGuire's got a chance now. Side ahead again. Well, what a moment this is for Chris Maguire. Right footed penalty. Oh, he thumps it off the woodwork. And Falkirk breathe again. Well, we expected Chris Maguire to put that in the back of the net. He goes for precision. He's looking for that top corner. Keeps crashing back off the post. And then he forgot the rules <laughs> and tried to control it again. See that, he's going for that perfectly in the top corner. Crashing off the post. The next player to touch it. Free kick to Falkirk. That's a huge moment in the game. Again. And McCann. Brilliant from Kennedy. Couldn't resist the shot. That's gone in off the defender. Kai Kennedy celebrates. Just two minutes after Air United missed the penalty. And League One Falkirk suddenly stands seven minutes away from Hamden. And the Scottish Cup semis. Huge, huge deflection to take the ball into the net, but it's an incredible first touch, the turn from Kai Kennedy. He's in acres of space, you can see him winding up to get the shot away. And he does. And it's Masonda that heads it into the back of the net. That little touch and turn there, brilliant. And he'd be on, be disappointed, there's not enough pressure on the shot. Thank you, Masonda, deflecting it beyond Aidan McAdams in goals, he'd absolutely no chance. It's a positivity of Kai Kennedy that puts Falkirk ahead. What a couple of minutes Falkirk have had. Scottish Cup sliding doors moments. Chris Maguire hits the post with a penalty. And a couple of minutes later, Kai Kennedy's deflected effort off Masonda, who gave away the penalty, but saw Falkirk equalise. Last chance. Now or never for air. We need to get this in the middle. Ashford into the Falkirk box. It's McGinty. And that should be that. That is that. League One Falkirk in the Scottish Cup semi final. They've beaten Championship here. And a club that has suffered for so many years now. A success start support. A long suffering support. Have a Scottish Cup semi final to look forward to. Frankie Misonda, the fall guy, he gave away the penalty that saw Falkirk cancel out Dipo Akinyemi's opener. And Kai Kennedy with more than a bit of luck off Misonda with the deflected winner after Chris Maguire had spurned the opportunity from the penalty spot.